performance was a bit of blank door without the door from us. Hello everyone and welcome back to Blue Hell Worldwide. Today we've got episode 6. We're taking on Young Boys of Switzerland from the tier above us in a Europa League game. And off the back of that we have an FA Cup 7th round game that we're going to be playing against Wolfsburg who are also in the division above us. The two tough tests for us today. If you're looking forward to them then remember to go down below, leave a thumbs up on the video. And if you haven't done so already and enjoy what you're seeing in this series here, on the channel also consider hitting that subscribe button and turning that notification bell on as well it is greatly appreciated but before we get into our two games today we've got some highlights to show you from what we've been doing since the end of yesterday's episode where we did pick up two good wins including one over Feyenoord in the Europa League group which was a very good one indeed if you missed that episode I will leave a link to it above my head in the top right corner but since that final game we had a away tie in the FA Cup 6 round against South Korea's Pohang Steelers and unfortunately for us it did go to a replay because we could only muster a one all draw away from home. We put out the rotation team for this game and unfortunately just after half time the Pohang Steelers just found a lot of space down that left wing we're able to put the ball in the back of the net through Grant but luckily for us we did pinch it Lazusi coming off the bench Smith with a header hitting the post and gutty kinda with the simple tap in and that is how we rescued our way through to a replay in that six round FA Cup tie. Yes, look at the stats, we thoroughly dominated that game, really should have been winning it, disappointing that it took us until quite late to pick up the draw in that game, but fair play to Pohang for getting a replay out of it, a team who are on the same tier as us, so not a terrible result, but it was definitely a game that even with the rotation we were expecting to win. Off the back of that, we had a replay with Vasco de Gummo in the Europa League. This is a team who we did beat at home in our first game, but unfortunately for us this time, a nil all draw away from home with the first choice 11. A pretty even game, neither team creating any great chances, so can't complain too much about that result. And then it was the replay against Pohang, and obviously with us playing Wolfsburg today, it was a 2-0 win for us at home. We got off to a much better start in this game than the prior to a ball of the far post. Shelton heading that down quite nicely for young Wilson Harris and he got us on the score sheet nice and early. And then early in the second half as well, Smith from a corner this time putting it in the back of the net. Unlike the first leg, albeit that led to a goal as well. And we get a good solid 2-0 win. Much better performance from us in terms of our efficiency in front of goal in the first league against Pohang so that is how we've made our way through to the seventh round of this FA Cup exceeding the board's expectations but a tough test in the second game of today's episode where we are taking on Wolfsburg and before that we've got young boys from Switzerland as well two away trips so we're in Europe proper for these games a trip from stateside for us and we'll see what we can do probably two games that will be some of the toughest that we will face here at SKC this season, but we will see what we can do. However, that draw against Vasco da Gama wasn't too bad of a result for us because we do still hold second in the group with Feyenoord also not picking up a win in that match week there. So we hold a one point gap over them for that second spot, albeit quite congested and behind that Vasco da Gama aside in Cluj, still holding top spot, but just staying to fall away a little bit from their early group stage form. So maybe they can also be caught. But if we can pick up some points here, that would be good against the Young Boys team. Just struggling ever so slightly down in fifth in this group at the moment. But that is all the admin stuff out of the way before the games in today's episode. Back-to-back -back ones as well. So we'll crack straight into it. First off, it is the Battle of Wankdorf. We are taking on young boys at their home ground. Let's see how we get on in this Europa League group game. And we do have TV coverage for this game at Wankdorf. There is young boys with a 4-4-2. Pretty simple system. An okay form, sort of mixing it up a little bit. There's our team. It's a full first choice 11 for us. Busio still in there and probably hold that spot 
Anyway, Espinosa not quite back from injury, but this game might be good for the Wolfsburg game though, so not too far away from returning is our original starting box to box midfielder and club captain Roger Espinosa. but we're getting this underway, young boys in the yellow and black, we're in the light blue, they have an early corner, and that's a disaster of a start for us there, Jordan Siabachio, I believe it was, he's got Pefok as his name there, so interesting stuff, but he's the guy who's going to get the goal, and that's a disappointing goal for us to concede in the second minute of gameplay, a simple near post corner, we've been pretty efficient from those ourselves so far, but a bad start for us there, 1-0 down very early on in the Battle of Wankdorf. And that is half time in this Europa League group stage game. We haven't really fired much ourselves, four shots, none on target. And young boys slightly outperforming us, just that first chance that you saw in the game after two minutes. No highlights after that, so it's been a very quiet game, but a little bit disappointing to concede that near post corner. And otherwise, to be fair, young boys probably deserve the lead. We'll make one change at half time. Graham Zusi not playing too well today, so Jalen Lindsay can come on for him, but we'll give the boys. A bit of a rev up at half time, make that substitution and see if we can equalize or better in the second half. Okay, 55 minutes gone here. Still nothing has happened since that opening minute highlight. Daniel Shalloy on a red heart. So we're going to have to take him off and bring Gaddy Kinder on for him. Hopefully he can find a bit more form now that he scored that goal in the first Pohang Steelers game. So we'll make that substitution. 35 minutes left to go. Still 1-0, two young boys and they're on the attack here. Again, as we finally get our second highlight of the game, Louis Martins intercepts the ball, boots it clear, but young boys do get possession back and definitely looking a little bit better than us at the moment. Nice ball played there for Insami, but a good save there from Tim Melia, keeping tall and strong and big and making sure that that goes out for a corner, but they're definitely looking more threatening than us at the moment as we haven't had a highlight in this game yet. They get the corner back into the box. It's a long shot, forces another really good save there. Out of Tim Melia, we clear it for a throw in, and still it remains 1-0. But at the moment, young boys looking more likely to get a second goal than us getting an equaliser. The throw in goes into Tim Melia's hands, and hopefully we can get something going now as their striker just tries to pinch this off firm. And luckily, Melia just kicks it to the left of him. That would have been a frustrating way to concede a goal, but Jalen Lindsay making his way down the right. Can we get an equaliser? He loses the ball there to Garcia, but luckily for us, Illy. It's possession back. Walter, nice ball for Johnny Evan Russell, but his shot, it's pretty weak straight at the young boys goalkeeper and still it remains 1-0. And 60 minutes gone here, we're going to make our last substitution. Alan Polito, 6.4 rating, so we may as well make a change, see if we can get something in the back of the net. Wilson Harris on for him, but still 1-0 down with half an hour to go. 63 minutes gone here and we have a free kick searching for an equaliser. Gianluca Busio playing that back to... Ellie Sanchez, we haven't had many highlights in this game apart from the one that you saw before to Johnny F and Russell and now it's Young Boys on the attack again looking for that second goal to probably wrap this game up because it, so far they do look the more threatening team though Martins boots that long and deep but once again Young Boys back in position although Johnny Russell with the interception can he set someone up, he's got players on his left in space gets around his man, tight angle tries the shot Probably not the best idea there from the Super Scott and forces it. Okay, save out of the goalkeeper. Doe for it. Not too sure if he had to. They deal with the near post corner there. Two young boys and yet again, the ball played in there from, not too sure who that actually was from, probably Busio on corners for us at that stage. But young boys on the counter attack now. Once again, looking for that second goal as they knock the ball about. But still, it remains 1-0 with 23 minutes left to go in this Europa League group game. And we are coming up to full time, and indeed that is it. That's a pretty disappointing performance from our guys, albeit you look at the second half stats, we look the more likely to score a goal, which wasn't really reflected in the highlights too much. Our XG actually higher than young boys, so to be fair, a nil draw out of this game wouldn't have been a bad result for us. It's just that we conceded that opening minute corner, and that really turned the tide in this game. During the first half, young boys probably deserved a 2-0 lead based on the highlights that we saw some good early chances for them in the second half as well. But we must have came back at them late, but nothing overly threatening. Some good first team players that usually perform not quite delivering for us there. So we'll go away, lick our wounds, and we'll see if we can get a better result as we take on Wolfsburg in the seventh round of the FA Cup off the back of that. But unfortunately, that performance was a bit of 
blank dwarf without the dwarf from us, it has to be said. So hopefully we can do something better in the second game of today's episode. And what that means for the group is that there are now a lot of teams on eight points and all on the same goal difference as well. So certainly closes the group up a bit more, but we'll come back shortly for the second game of today's episode, taking on Wolfsburg in the FA Cup seventh round. And we are back for the second game of today's episode, taking on Wolfsburg in Germany. They are playing a 5-2-3, so somewhat defensive there from a team a division above us. And we are going with our full rotation for this game. So this is going to be interesting, just keeping our boys fresh for the MLS after this. And this isn't a game I'm expecting to win, to be honest. So it'll be interesting to see how the reserves get on against a quality opposition in Wolfsburg, they are in the light green, we are in our blue hoops, and early on not much happening, but after nine minutes, there is a corner to Wolfsburg, they put it in, Lindsay hitting it away, but they just hold the ball outside the box there, to Wolfsburg, and oh, what a finish that is, from Maximilian Arnold, just curving that around McIntosh and goal, some wonderful whip from left to right with his left foot, just found a bit of space down the right wing, which is a little bit frustrating considering it came from a corner just making his way in after taking it. In fact, we just left him a bit too free and he just sneaks that in the far post. Good finish and after nine minutes, we do go 1-0 down. 20 minutes gone and we've got our second highlight of the game and yet again, Wolfsburg are in possession from a throw in a good area of the pitch. It's a bit messy from us. There's a bunch of scrambling. That's an unfortunate goal to concede, but Wolfsburg being very clinical in front of goal today and making the most of their chances. And after 20 minutes, we're looking like we might be getting a little bit outclassed today. It has to be said, it's a bit of a messy stuff here. We're just a couple of blocks from us, but in the Nginjek is able to get on the end of it. That's an unfortunate goal to concede, but we probably should have dealt with the throne a bit better, truth be told. And they go 2 0 up at the 20 minute mark. 25 minutes gone and they are really looking to put the misery on us here. Wolfsburg and that's incredibly soft. Another goal from a throw on our defence. Not up to it today so far. And it's 3-0 about halfway through this first half. And we could be in for a bit of a freshing today. Especially if our defence just allows free headers to the Wolfsburg players. Able to just get things going very simply. A ball over the top from Arnold. Ginchek gets a double. And it's 3-0 at the half hour mark. 38 minutes gone here and we finally have something down the other end, a corner which Oliveira puts in, it's headed away but we do keep possession and look to get something going for the first time in this game, it feels like we definitely need a goal here just to try and stay in touch with these guys, probably too much of an ass to even win it from here but what a strike that is from Cicelo, the Brazilian midfielder we picked up on a free transfer and that is a very nice goal. Just a good strike from outside the box. There wasn't much on there. We were holding the ball in a good area. Smith to Isamut. He finds the zero, just takes a touch, unleashes it, comes off the underside of the crossbar, more or less in the top left corner. That's a wonderful finish. And it's 3-1 just before half time. Maybe we have a chance. And we have another corner shortly off the back of that. And that's a good chance. Unfortunately, it comes off the post, I believe. And it's still 3-1. And that is half time here. At Wolfsburg, 3-1 down. They looked very good that first half hour. We were a bit sloppy at the back. We did pull a goal back through Cicelo and a good chance from a corner just after that as well. So starting to work our way back into this game, but it feels like it might be too little, too late against a team of this quality. We'll make one change at halftime. There's a quite a few players on average rating, so I'm not too sure if we can improve things a great deal, but Gaddy kinda is on a yellow hat as well as a 6.3 rating. So we'll try Daniel Shalloy there. See if we can pull another one back, because then we'd be back in this game, it feels like. But 3-1 down, we're pushing it uphill in this FA Cup 7th round tie. 55 minutes gone. It's an early corner here to us. If we can get one back here, that would put us back. That's a couple of good chances coming off the post again. So two times I've hit the woodwork from corners, and that could be us right back in this game. A free kick there for Wolfsburg, straight off the back of it. And again from us, Really sloppy at the back, just a bit of a messy ball, and somehow Stefan gets on the end of that, gets it past McIntosh from a tight angle. So disappointing from both our defense and the goalkeeper there, and they go 4-1 up, and this is well and truly done. We are cooked in the FA Cup this season, albeit somewhat expected with the rotation team playing against a side of division above us, but 
the margin at the moment. Not ideal, but we'll see if we can get something going from now as it's 4-1 with 25 minutes to go. And we are going to make a substitution here, bringing Johnny Effin Russell on for Kerry Shelton, who's down to a 6.2 rating. So we'll try that second substitution, see if our first choice wingers can get something going to get at least a goal back and a little bit of pride in the scoreline, but not looking good for us today. 4-1 down with 25 minutes to go. 75 minutes gone here, and we are on the attack. We are going to make our last change off the back of this. Cicillo on a yellow card and a red heart. Did score that good goal, but we'll bring Busio on for him after this highlight where Wolfsburg just waltzing their way down. Ginchek's going to get a hat trick. We just aren't up to it defensively in this game. It feels like just we've let in quite a few soft goals today, and it's 5-1 for Carlo just jogs his way for our midfield here and our defence just let Ginchek get beyond them and he's able to slot away another one this time a good finish from him into the bottom right corner and we are well and truly out of this now getting absolutely spanked once again Wankdorf without the Dorf and we'll bring Busio on for Cicero but not going well for us today this is a bit of a bad result hopefully it doesn't drop morale too much but We'll make that last substitution, try and get a goal back, maybe two, get some pride into this result, but um, not good for us at the moment. 5-1 down with four of an hour to go. 89 minutes gone here, and Wolfsburg are trying to make it six, but we do intercept that throw, and it would be nice if we did that a bit earlier and more often, but Daniel Shalloy making his way infield quite nicely. Slots through, Duke, the ball falls to Wilson Harris, and at least he's going to get a goal. A bit of a lucky one, it has to be said, but at least we've got two goals against Wolfsburg now. A bit of a sloppy one, but it's a bit fair play, it feels like, because they've got a few sloppy goals themselves. A slide tackle to take the ball off of Duke there, and it falls quite kindly to Wilson Harris, who puts it away in the bottom left corner. But we are into injury time, and it is not going to make any difference at all. Just a bit more respectability somewhat to the scoreline, but we got absolutely spanked and outclassed there. Our reserves just not up to the second-tier team out of the Bundesliga League, Wolfsburg. Way too good for us. Absolutely dominated that game stat-wise, scoreline-wise, pretty much everywhere. A few of the goals they got were a little bit sloppy, but we got a sloppy one at the end, so I suppose that accounts for it as well and evens things out. But just a poor performance from our reserves there, albeit can't be too disappointed with them against the team of the quality of Wolfsburg. But two pretty average results for us today, it has to be said, or poor results, I should be saying, as we go out of the FA Cup in the seventh round, which isn't too bad. The board, we're only expecting the sixth round, but the scoreline, a little bit disappointing as we lose 5-2 to Wolfsburg. So two big losses for us there today, albeit the young boys one wasn't so big, but just a bit more frustrating in how we lost that with an early goal and then Wolfsburg just completely outclassing us in that FA Cup round. Of course, I did say that we would be playing Houston today but with that FA Cup tie coming up that game got pushed back significantly so that was the reason for the change in plan for today's episode we get 245,000 euros for making the seventh round of the FA Cup so look they might have been our first choice team there anyway so I suppose what we did in yesterday's episode with focusing the first team on the Europa League or that little stint that we had there might have paid off with the money that we got out of those games but disappointing to lose that game by that much albeit they did thoroughly outclass us there did Wolfsburg and we're now in a little bit of a tricky spot in our Europa League group as well as you would have seen at the end of the first game in a tie for second all three teams there young boys final and us on eight points and with the same goal difference so definitely still on the hunt but hopefully we can bounce back from the results today fairly quickly and get back on track and maybe get our way out of that Europa League group which would be a nice little surprise and Dave, we will have Roger Espinosa back in action for the next episode as well, which is quite nice. He has just dropped a little bit on his ability and some of his stats since that injury picked up. So we're probably going to persist with Gianluca Busio in the first team. You can see he is improving very nicely. The 18-year-old American, I think he might have earned his place in the first choice rotation from now on. Very well-rounded already for 18 years old. And the more game time we give him, no doubt he is only going to get better. Is Gianluca been a very good performer since coming in for Espinosa when he did pick up that broken ankle? But in tomorrow's episode, what I think we are going to do, if we make our way down, we're going to come back 
in late November, as I said yesterday, trying to keep these episodes to one a month, but a good little tasty couple of matchups I've got coming up at the end of the month. First off, a top of the table clash in the MLS League. We're going to be taking on top spot Junior FC. We are now down in fifth after today's episode, but with those games in hand, we could definitely make ground on the teams in behind Junior FC anyway. So if we can get points out of that game, that would be quite good. Any points, I'd say, would be good against Junior FC. The way that they are going, they are looking quite strong up there at the top of the table, albeit they've played 14 games. And off the back of that, we are going to try and get some revenge on Cluj, currently top of the table in that Europa League group. Of course, we played them off camera a few episodes ago, I believe, and Oliveira got us into trouble with an early red card. We then considered a penalty, and they got a 1-0 win in their home game in that group stage. Hopefully, if we keep our discipline a bit better tomorrow, we can pick up a win in the home league and really condense that Europa League group down and give ourselves a good chance of getting out of it. And then when we come back in December, I'd say it will really depend on how the Europa League group's looking, but we might play a few of those games, potentially the young boys and final ones, just to see if we can progress out of that group. But that will do it for today's episode. If you did enjoy it, despite us being pretty average, it has to be said, especially in that second game against Wolfsburg, then remember to go down below, leave a thumbs up on the video. And if you enjoy the series here on the channel, also consider hitting that subscribe button and turning that notification bell on as well. It is greatly appreciated. And until tomorrow's episode, where we're going to be taking on Junior FC and Clue, some good matchups against top of the table teams in both the MLS and Europa League. Thank you very much for watching. Keep on keeping on, and I'll see you then. Cheers.